Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install GCC. You know, GCC is your compiler to run your C programs on your computer. So in case you don't have it already, you have to install GCC on your system, on your Linux distribution, on your Ubuntu, on your system. And the very first thing you need to do, you need to know which one are you using. So on my computer right now, I know a lot of people would have my different styles. So the first one I have is I have this Ubuntu from Microsoft Store. So if you have your Ubuntu from Microsoft Store, all you need to do is just to search for it, Ubuntu, okay? When you click on the Microsoft button. So you see, I have two Ubuntus here. So you just click on the one you want. Sorry, that disappeared. So you click on, you open the one you want or the one you have on your system. It could be ordinary the Ubuntu or the one that says Ubuntu or on Windows. But I won't open both of them because I already have them open here. Yeah? So these are both of them. So what you need to know here is when you open it, the next thing you need to do is uh, where is it? Okay. The next thing you need to do is to check if you have it installed. So how to check? You say GCC forward uh, double forward slash then version. So as you can see, I have it installed here. Don't worry, I will show you how to install it even if you don't have it. It's still the same command. On the other Ubuntu, as you can see, I have it. I've done that command before. So let me do it again. I also have it here. Also, if your own is from command prompt, the one where you have to type bash. So when you type bash, it opens up the, uh, it brings out Ubuntu for you. Then you can check if you have it installed too. I have it installed here, GCC fashion. So also, if you're using Sigwin, if you watched my video on how to install Sigwin, you must have installed GCC too. So if I check for that on my Sigwin, you see it is installed too, very important. And also, if you're using VirtualBox, as you can see on my VirtualBox, I don't have it installed yet. So you open Terminal on your VirtualBox. And when you open Terminal, I did GCC version, but as you can see, I don't have it installed. So it say command GCC not found. So for us to install GCC on any on any of our Ubuntu system or distribution, it's just the same thing. All you need to do to install Ubuntu, to install GCC on your Linux system for C programming language, you start with sudo apt update. So you have to update the Linux system. So it will ask for my password. I'm going to put in my password now. You won't see me typing it. So it's downloading an update for my system, for the uh, Linux system on my virtual box. So when that is done, I will now put in the next command. Okay? So that is, so it is done already. Let's put in the next command. The next command is sudo, that's twice. So sudo apt install. GCC. That's not supposed to be O, oh, not zero. Okay, so that's that. Then now you can press enter to install GCC. So it's downloading it. So why that is downloading? If you did it through any of the other terminals, so yeah, previously I did not have it. So when I did GCC, it said command not found. So I did the first thing. Where is it? So I did sudo apt update to update the system. Then after updating the system, I did sudo apt install GCC and I got it installed. Then after I got it installed, I did GCC version, the wrong one. I did GCC version here. And that is how I got it here. And as you can see, I have it here. So guys, that is how to install GCC on any of the terminal that you'll be using for this C programming language course. So. I hope you're set. Let's get to it.